Zero Accounting Software 2023 Pay Sales Tax. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Bayer Dynamic, not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me, therefore I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones, the headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the padding is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. In our custom Zero homepage, going into the file we set up in a prior presentation, Get Great Guitars. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top so we can duplicate it. Right click in the tab up top so once again we can duplicate it. Back to the tab to the middle accounting drop down. We want to open up the balance sheet, slightly modified balance sheet we did in the prior presentation. If you don't have that, you can open the normal balance sheet. Tab into the right accounting drop down the income statement, but we're going to open the comparative income statement again. If you don't have that, you can open the standard income statement, the comparative income statement, however, comparing the current month, February, to the prior month, January. The balance sheet has been slightly adjusted in that we have some account categories that we put down here with the custom layout down below. All right, so now we're going to be dealing with sales tax and the pain of the sales tax, noting the taxes are going to differ depending on your location. However, note that taxes in general aren't really new. In other words, governments have dreamed up every possible way that they could basically tax people throughout time. It's not like taxes themselves are new or the different kinds of taxes are new. It's just which tax a particular government is deciding to implement in whatever kind of location at any particular time that they think can milk the most money out of the people right that's how the, that's the one that they're going to be going with so so we we're talking about united states taxes here in terms of a sales tax which is basically a usage tax type of system it's going to be applied on a state level as opposed to a federal level, meaning every different state has to deal with their own and locality dependent state and local uh, types of sales tax. And the tax happens when we make the sale. And then we of course have to collect the tax at that point in time and then give the tax money to the government periodically. Now we tried to make the, the taxes, the sales tax a little bit generic here, just to give a general idea of a usage type tax, a sales types tax, uh, because we don't want to make it too specific for a particular location. It's also becoming, it's also a little bit difficult to track when the tax is paid or due when you're not working in real time uh, using accounting software. So let's just think about, you know, let's look at the flow chart first of all. This is a QuickBooks desktop flowchart, but we're just looking in terms of the flow 
of forms and how the sales tax fit into the flow of the forms. Now, the sales tax in theory is a government tax, not on you, the business owner, but on the customer. That's what the idea is. Obviously, in economic terms, you can argue whether that is actually the case or not, but that's the theory. So what happens is when we make a sale to a customer with uh, either, you know, at the point of sale or with an invoice when we're billing the customer, those are usually our sales forms or possibly uh, we could have like, a you know, well, those are the two sales forms. Usually we're collecting the money at that time or we have an invoice that we are creating. Then we're also going to be charging the customer the sales tax. Now, the sales tax, in theory, isn't our charge. And therefore, we're not going to record it as revenue, but instead as a payable type of account, accumulating a liability at that time. And then we're going to have to give that money to the government or whoever's whoever's giving us protection. We're paying them protection money, whoever's shaking us down, you know. So we're going to go back on over and see what that looks like. So if I go into, say, like the income statement, and I go into our sales tab and let's drill down on the sales number to just look at a sales form to recall what this looks like. And we're gonna say, let's say that in here we have an invoice. Let's just pick up an invoice at the beginning. Uh, or here's a receive money form. Let's pick that one up. All right, so what? Is, here's the sales tax on down below that's being calculated. So what is this doing when we record it? we have an increase to the sales that we charged, which is this 1,200 and the 1,000 for a total of 2,200. And that's what's increasing the revenue. But we also had to charge this other, in our case, 5%, which we broke out between local and state of the 88 and 22. That's not going to go into revenue, but rather it's going to go into a liability account. And we're basically being forced to act as the tax collector in this case to collect that money. So it's gonna increase the liability account. And then we're gonna collect the 2,310, which is what's actually being deposited into our checking accounts. Now, just note that you can imagine a system where you're gonna say, well, why don't I just record the 2,310 as revenue? And the sales tax is an ordinary and necessary expense of doing business. And therefore I would just have an expense there instead of having this sales tax payable account being involved and one reason we don't do that in theory is because this amount isn't actually our revenue we're just collecting taxes it's supposed to be taxes on the client on the customer so so we don't want to include it in revenue uh there now the reason that becomes important is because oftentimes at the end of the year, if you do taxes in the United States, you often get this question from clients or yourself. You're going to say, hey, I paid all this money to sales taxes. Why don't I have a sales tax expense account as a, as a deduction for taxes? You don't have it because we didn't record the revenue related to sales tax as taxes either. Both the revenue and the expense side having been reported on the payable account so you have you you need to be able to explain that to yourself and others because the question will likely come up all right so then i'm going to go back and back and then if i go to the first tab here you'll recall we turned on the sales tax by going to the accounting drop down we went to advanced here and we went into the taxes and you could have the taxes based on your location, but we just put in for the practice problem, our generic 5% tax. So it's a little bit generic in the problem. So when you turn on the taxes, you've got to turn it on by location that we did in a prior presentation. And then you need to set up your items, the things that you're selling, which is your products and services, business products and services, and tell the system which of these products and services, in our case, we said the products, the guitars, are subject to tax so that when you make the sales forms, the receive money forms and the invoices, it will be able to calculate the tax as you create those forms. That's the general outline. Note that some customers could be exempt from taxes, in which case you might have to go to those particular customers and mark them off as exempt from taxes. 
And those are the three things that you're going to have to do to set up the taxes. Now, we've been collecting taxes. So if I just go to the balance sheet, I'm just going to look at this in terms of the balance sheet here. And I'm going to imagine that we have to collect the taxes for the month and then we're going to pay it at the end of the month. So we've done two months of data input at this point in time. So that means uh, we collected taxes through January. And I'm going to imagine we have to pay those taxes in February. So if I scroll down, for example, to the liability account, we've got the 4008. So if I if I go into the 4008, then this is how much we owe as of the end of February. But I only want to pay up through January at this point in time. That's what's due. So so here's the information uh, for January and February. So if I go and these, of course, are the invoices um, that are helping to generate the actually, this is the accounts payable. What am I doing back? Wrong number, wrong number. Pull it together. You confused me. Now it's all over. I'm not going to understand it. Now you messed me up. Sales tax. This is the sales tax form. So if I go into the sales tax form or number or GL transaction report, then these are going to be invoices and the sales receipts. So this went up through January here. So the, in terms of our running balance, this is the amount that we might owe in February, right? And then we're going to let the running balance for February uh, continue to accumulate upward would be the general idea. So we are in essence going to write a check for the sales tax that has accumulated up uh, through January in our practice in our practice problem. I'm just going to do that with like a normal uh, kind of of check or money out spend money type of form. Uh, I'm actually going to do two checks, which hopefully add up to this amount because I'm going to break out the locations between the local and the state in accordance with what I have in my practice problem, because in essence, I want the bank feeds to tie out when we get to the bank feeds in a future course or section. All right. So I'm just in essence going to write two checks or have money out type forms. So I'm going to go, uh, let's go to the drop down and we're going to say spend money. More money is being spent it's coming out of the checking account, going to the government, more money is being spent going to the government. And so this is going to, I'm going to call this the city. I'm going to make a city tax, California. I'm just making a generic. This is who I would have to pay. And, and you know, I'm in California, so this isn't the actual state uh, tax sales tax collection place, but I'm just making it generic. That's the point. This is going to be as of the end of Feb, Feb 28. Uh, Feb 28 is the date. I'm going to make it a check. And then I'm going to go down and say that this is going to go to, I'll just say this is going to pay for Jan sales tax. And I'm going to make this amount for 1875.09. And it's going to go to the sales tax liability account, decreasing that liability account. All right. So what's this going to do? It's going to be a money spend money form, decreasing the checking account. The other side go into the liability account, not an expense account, decreasing the liability uh, account. All right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write another one as well. So I'm gonna save and another. Thank you, state, for taking my money. May I have another? And we're gonna say save. And the state's like, yeah, you will can hit you can have enough, but we can hit you all night long with taxes. We can tax you till the moon and back. So this is going to be, let's call this the state sales sales tax, California. And we'll make another tab on that one. So we have the city and state is, is this is a generic vendor, but that's the idea. We're going to bring this back to February 28. And this is going to be uh, one and for 68.77 and once again sales tax the pay the liability account is the account that we're going to hit on that one so this will be a check decreasing the cash account other side going into 
the liability. Let's save it and that. Have you had enough? Have you had enough now? I'll tell you when he's had enough. I've had enough. No more taxes. I, we're gonna go then. Okay, let's go to the balance sheet. We scroll down on the balance sheet. We've got the checking account. If we go into the checking and check it out, we're gonna scroll down and we see, of course, the two checks that uh, we have written. So here they are right there. Boom, boom. And then I'm gonna go back up and then the other side, not going to the income statement, but rather decreasing the liability for sales tax. So if I go down, there's the sales tax. We're down to 55369. It didn't go down to zero. We didn't pay the full amount off because we only paid the amount off for January. So if I go into that, we can see the detail. So I'm gonna say, all right, let's check it out then. Scrolling down, uh, we see the activity. We owed at the end of the January that 234385. So let's pull out the trusty calculator just to uh, check out some stuff here. Trusty calculator. Uh, we have these two payments we made down here. 1875.09 plus 468.77. And that adds up to the that 234385. Uh, it's off by a penny. But that's cool. That's just rounding, man. That's just rounding. So then the sales that we made in February, we have not yet paid yet, right? So that's going to be this 110 plus 104.7 plus 244 plus 65 plus 30. There's the five, the five, five, three, sixty nine off by a penny. That's cool. That's not, I'm not going to let that bother me, even though I'd like it to be like, why? Why is it? Okay, it's okay. Doesn't need to be perfect. So in any case, that's what we'll pay for February sales that happened. I'm gonna go back that happened in, uh, we'll pay it in March for the sales that happened in February. Notice on the income statement, again, we didn't, we paid that money and, and you're gonna say, well, why don't I have an expense for it? Why don't I have an expense? I should get a deduction for my income taxes in the, if you're in the United States. No, because you didn't record the revenue in there either. If you have a system where you did record the revenue in sales, then you got to figure something out because you, you, in essence, you should remove the revenue from the sales. But generally the idea would be that both the revenue and the expenses are off income statement on balance sheet in the sales tax uh, payable account. That's the idea. That's the idea. Let's open up the trial balance and see where we stand at this point in time tab into the right accounting drop down we want to go into the reports and type in trial balance to call up the trial balance you just type in its name and the trial balance appears you got to be careful with what you type into the magic keyboard things just show up once you type it in there and so we're going to say this is going to go custom date 2023 and okay, update it. So that's what we have. And uh, if your numbers tie out to these numbers, great. If not, if you were in balance last time or you tied out to us last time, you were on before, but you're off now, then what we changed, we, cha we made a change to the checking account and we made a change to the sales tax uh, account. You would think those would be the adjusted amounts uh, so you can, uh, you can, uh, expand the date range, see if that's a date issue and then drill down to the source documents and possibly make changes to correct whatever needs correcting from there.